Over the past five weeks, six girls bravely took on tasks usually reserved for men. By taking on these male-oriented challenges, these girls have proved in their own ways that men and women are really quite different. But more importantly, these girls are competing for the title of Clear Men's Girl 2007 and a cash prize of $10,000. The girls are... I think I'm quite... I've got quite a masculine personality. Yeah, like... For example, I do things like I hold the doors open for guys, you know, I pay the bills. I think outwardly, uh, um, I dress like a girl and I... Most of the time, I behave like one. But uh, I think my behaviour and some of the stuff I do is not really like that typically girly. Okay, if you said that other girls say they can wear bikini and look good in it, I can also. If they say they can win the game, I can also. Whatever you can, I can also. If I know I'm right, I'm very, very persistent and, and when somebody thinks they're right but they're actually wrong and I know they're wrong and I'm just dumb. So yeah, that's when I tell people when they act when they don't know nothing. Sometimes I think more like a guy than my boyfriend because whenever I see a girl in bikini, I'm the one who goes more. Since my target audience men, so obviously we know what men like. More flash, intellectual, sexiness. Before we take a sneak peek at what went on behind the scenes, let's have a look at what these girls have been through in the past five weeks. In the first week, the girls had a taste of the army. Monkey bars and the gate obviously didn't pose much of a challenge until the girls reached the rope. I looked up the rope and there was no humanly possible way to get the flag. So I uh, started thinking of like sort of fabulous tactics now. Rachel, Nicole and Patricia shook the rope for the flag to fall and were disqualified. June spent too much time at the rope and gave up. Okay, I think I'm gonna forfeit this one. Virgin was the first to finish the challenge, followed closely by KK. In week two, the girls had to pry open durians to get the fruits out. Nicole took her time because she didn't want to hurt herself for money. It's very relaxed. Eh? Hurry! <laughs> June had the most stubborn durian of all that even throwing it on the floor didn't help to break it. Just open up, please! <laughs> Queen of accessories, KK, had a glove stuck in her bling. The gloves got stuck in the diamond bracelet. So much for accessories, man. In this challenge, Rachel won with the most fruits, with Pat in second place and Regine in third. The girls had to change car tyres in week three, where KK was stuck with a stubborn lug nut. Why is it all tight? Oh my god. Can you see how tight this is? Nicole taught us about the benefits of multitasking. She's the only one that I've seen trying to screw down the jack and the nuts <laughs> at the same time. Boys will never think of doing that. Never. <laughs> if your right hand's doing something, your left hand ought to do something else. So therefore, I'm kind of loosening up. So you see, I'm saving time. And June displayed excessive enthusiasm. Oh no, my boobs are falling out. Don't care about your school. Oh, yeah. This is a family program. At the end, Carl Lover, Patricia won the challenge, Regine came in second, and Rachel in third place. In week four, the girls became Beckham for the day with free kicks and headers. All right. Rachel drew Pat as a goalie who taunted her by monkeying around. <laughs> The headers had many girls <laughs> clutching their foreheads in pain. Oh, my head! That's oh. cool. And Rachel in frustration. You're like, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, I'm sorry. Bitch. Oh, 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 Hello, y'all better do this again. So we've got a lousy throw here. Really? Regine won this challenge with Pat in second place and Nicole in third. Last week, the girls had to battle with cockroaches. Ah, oh my god! I freaked out. Yeah. I mean, I just lost it. I was like. <laughs> Patricia and Regine broke into tears as they were adamant not to enter the booth. Oh, it's very, very scary. You won't understand it if you yeah. If you want, you understand it. It's something that you cannot explain, no, that fear is so scary that. You cannot control, you cannot, you cannot stop yourself from scaring it. Nicole was frightened, yet she braved her fears and completed a challenge. Ah! Shit. No, no, no. No, 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 no,
KK wanted to feel the roaches and went into the booth without a mask or gloves. She tied with June but was beaten in the tiebreaker with her clinching third place. June was second and Rachel won this final challenge. After five weeks of challenges, this is where the girls stand in terms of total points. Regine is in the lead with 90,000 points, followed closely by Patricia and Rachel, who are tied for second place. KK is in third, June's in fourth, and Nicole is in the last position with 10,000 points. But of course, that's not their final score. Their online votes will be added on to their current score to determine the final winner. Before we announce who the winner is, let's have a quick look behind the scenes. Now, it's never as easy as it seems when filming, especially when you need silence on the set and no one seems to be listening. I personally don't like the smell, but I think it's still bearable. It was really slimy, then it might slip. The durians were kind of slime. It feels terrible, and um, everyone, I'd just like you to know. As you know, I stand at zero points now. It was very stubborn. So I was. Uh, I grabbed the tyres and all the tools and I had to unscrew the... Guys! Please! And... And... <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> if you want to have long hair, it's fine. Just as long as your hair stays on your head because you don't want to add extra ingredients with your falling strands. Why must you do it when I get a perfect take? Why? <laughs> When you're shooting out in the field, braving the elements is just part and parcel of the job. Um, I'm fun loving. Um, okay, sorry, Bali. The sun's very hot. Okay. If it's not the sun, it's the wind, but it's always something. So um, anyway, my point is, you don't have to scratch your head vigorously. It doesn't solve anything. What you need is a target-specific shampoo. Hair, please help me out here. Okay, you know what we... That's all we have for you this week. Come back. When we train, we perspire, which is why army boys Alright, that's all we have for you this week. My name is Ross. Join me next week for more girl on girl action. This has been. And what happens when you put a bunch of girls together? They exchange notes, of course. So, who do you think they're gonna vote? Maybe uh, they'll vote for the girl that put in the most effort and get hurt. Guys will be like, hey, pretty man, this girl. It kind of cute also, like, you know, pretty man. What she say? What she say? She's talking about me. Yes. <laughs> Reading some of the hands. Yeah. <laughs> are you some sweating? Some are you you're putting a girl up for you on your finger? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, people I mean. were like, "What? She win again?" Like no personality. Mm. Uh. Yeah, that's why. Like, like, yeah, but I'm yeah. not gonna get the money, man. I'm not gonna. Yeah. She's like a nice girl, but I just don't. Yeah. Regine, um. Honestly, I think Regine is a bit annoying because she's always laughing over something that... I mean, I, I, I absolutely cannot see any humour in whatever she finds funny. Can I say curry pop? <laughs> curry pop <will> drop. <laughs> it looks pretty easy. <laughs> can you look at me? Serious? <laughs> I have the final results with me, but before I reveal the winner, let's have a quick chat with the girls. Okay, do you think that the differences between the two genders help guys take on the task you've done better? Yes and no. Yes, because for some challenges that are more physically demanding, guys are built in such a way where they can tackle it better. No, because for example, the last task we had, which was to catch cockroaches, this depends on your personal preference and some guys are afraid of cockroaches and they'll never be able you know, to handle that task well. 
So what do you girls think about guys with dandruff and unkempt hair? If like I'm making out with this guy and his dandruff is fall falling all over me, I I think that would be a total turn off. And I feel that guys who are generally if their hair is unkempt and they have like a serious dandruff problem and they don't do anything about it, I think it says a lot about their personality as well. They're like they're lazy or they cannot be bothered and I think that would translate into how they treat me and yeah, I wouldn't stand for it. If there's someone amongst you who you think doesn't deserve to win, who do you think that will be and why? Regine doesn't deserve to get so many votes that I think she is getting because she's already, you know, ahead of all of us. She's already at the top of the score, but why would she need any more? So I think, yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, I think Nicole doesn't really deserve to win because of the fact that um, I don't think she's she, she joined it to win. I think she had like other reasons for joining it. Maybe like, like what? publicity, like to be known. I mean really like, as a model, I mean you really want to be known to get like more jobs and stuff like that. For me also, yeah, I think my reasons also the same. And now the moment that we've all been waiting for, the crowning of Clear Men's Girl 2007. Who do you pick as your favourite to win and who deserves to walk home tonight with $10,000 cash? Now, before I reveal the winner, let's take a look again at the girls' scores to date. This is what they've accumulated so far by competing in the past five challenges. So guys, you've been with us for the past five weeks, you casted your votes and you supported your favourite girl to win. So for the girl who's braved through army obstacles, pride open durians, who've changed car tyres at lightning fast speed, even scored goals and battled with roaches, the guys have made their choice. The winner! of Clear Men's Girl 2007 will be announced after this short break. No, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> okay. The winner of Clear Men's Girl 2007 is none other than... Regine! Congratulations! Here you go. Here's yours and your check. And another hamper for you. Can you manage? So how do you feel about the win? I'm happy I never let my supporters down. So hopefully you'll get to win the 5k as well. And there you have it, the winner of $10,000 cash and the title of Clear Men's Girl 2007.